Today we'll be talking about Glen Keane, legendary animator for Disney. I've chosen Glen Keane because he's probably influenced more animators than the nine old men themselves. Glen Keane has worked on many films, including The Rescuers, where he was a character animator, animating Bernard and Penny, the leading mice in the movie. After this, he worked on The Fox and the Hound as a supervising animator. He really did the animation of the bear in that sequence when the fox really fights the bear. And you can see how great of an animator he is there, how realistic the moves on the bear are. After this, he worked on a few other films from Disney, like The Black Cauldron, The Great Mouse Detective, and Oliver and Company. He really didn't shine until The Little Mermaid, where he was a character designer and supervising animator. He worked on Ariel, the lead character. You can really see how much he's put into Ariel. You can see how fluent her mov movement, movement is and just how graceful her character is herself. This is one of my favorite characters he's ever done. On top of that, he helped create a lot of the characters in The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast. He helped design the Beast and really gave him his roar and what the Beast is as we know it. This is probably considered one of the best animations ever where you see the beast as transforming into his human form and just the way he's lifted up and how great that looks. And after this, he had worked on Aladdin. Aladdin being probably one of my favorite movies from when I was a child. I remember watching my VHS over and over again. He was a supervising animator there. He really worked on Aladdin himself. And you can see it from jumps to walking, just how smooth Aladdin is. After this, he worked on Pocahontas, probably the one of the most influential cartoons of the 90s, and probably one of the best animations of all time. It is considered one of the top animations. He was a supervising animator, visual development, depart, bleh, visual development and story. After this, he worked on Tarzan. You can see in Tarzan himself, just you can really tell tell he has muscles and the way he combined that animalistic crawl of a gorilla that he has to everything else. In between this and Tangled, he worked on Treasure Planet and Mickey's Fellow Magic, the animation at the Disney in, in Disney World. Now his most recent film, there's two. There's Paper Man, which was a short on top of Wreck It Ralph, and there's Tangled. He was the lead animator there. He was executive producer, animation pro director, and story. He pencil tested all of Rapunzel, and they in there got it and turned around and made it into a 3D film. This is why Rapunzel looks so amazing. And for a 3D film to be dragged from a 2D realm, is, this is just why it looks so amazing. I have chosen Glenn Keane because he's one of my favorites. I chose Glenn Keane for my favorite just because of how great of an animator he is. He motivates me to be a better animator. Watching every YouTube video that, that I can find on his animation, you know. He does these lectures at CalArt. And I've watched every single one I could find. And within those, they, he really breaks down each character's movement and everything. His strokes are so smooth, and they motivate. That's his, each time I see his pencil move, I want to go out and draw. Everything that he's done from Rapunzel to Aladdin, and everything between, has just I watch it constantly. I'm a huge Disney fan, so I've watched a ton of his stuff. I think Glenn Keane is an animator to be respected, and he is a living legend. This is why he is one of my motivating pieces. Um, Glenn Keane has one of those animators that you just gotta look at and say, wow, that's good animation. I think everybody should watch something by Glenn Keane, even if you're not an animator, just because his work is so great and you can see how much he puts into his work. And I think that should be, you should put that into every form of animation you try to do. Just 
Guanyin he's my motivation to be an animator not just in 3D but 2D also thank you